Jana nilikuja hapa Kisumu na tumeanzisha hachari pale mahali inaitwa Kobonyo. Pale Kabonyo tunaanzisha hachari kama ile nimeona hapa. Kwa sababu nia yetu ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba katika mpango wa kupunguza gharama ya maisha na kupunguza gharama ya chakula ni kusaidia wananchi wetu waweze kuzalisha chakula shambani na vile vile waweze kuzalisha chamali, eh, cha, eh, chakula kutoka maji yetu ya hapa Ziwa Victoria na kule Indian Ocean. Mimi nimefurahi kuona ma, mambo ambayo yanaendelea hapa katika Victory Farm. Kwa sababu what I have seen in Victory Farm is a confirmation that indeed the Republic of Kenya can feed itself. And what Victory Farm is doing is in tandem with what we are planning as government. Yesterday, as I said, we started the process of building Kabonyo fisheries and a place where we are going to have training and many other facilities that will support fishing industry in Lake Victoria and in this region. From that facility, we are going to engage in the process of restocking Lake Victoria. I am confident that in the next nine months, we are going to be supporting Victory Farm. As they restock Lake Victoria, the government of Kenya is going to be pumping at least seven million new fingerlings every month into Lake Victoria to support fishermen and all those who are engaged in the business and in the trade of fishing. Munanielewa Jameni? Ndiyo mimi nataka ni waambie. Hiyo mpango tumeanzisha jana ni mpango ya kusaidia wavuvi katika county zetu ine hapa Nyanza. Na pia ni mpango ambayo itatusaidia kuongeza samaki katika ziwa letu la Victoria. Ndiyo wavuvi wetu wakienda kutafuta samaki wakute kuna samaki kwa sababu ile overfishing ambayo imeendelea pale nyuma na hatuja kuwa na mpango ya kurudisha fingerlings katika ziwa letu la Victoria now we are going to have a clear program on how we are going to stroke, uh, to restock our, our 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 waters both rivers and this lake so that we can improve on our catch of fish and improve on delivery of food to the people of Kenya. Mimi nataka pia niwaeleze ya kwamba mbali na hiyo restocking ambayo tunafanya hapa na mbali na ile kazi nzuri inafanywa na watu wa Victory Farms hapa pia hapa Lake Victoria tutajenga fish landing sites ingine tisa. Tumeweka pesa ya serikali milioni mia tisa ya kufanya hiyo kazi. <clears throat> kule siaya mahali inaitwa Rwanda Kotieno tumejenga fish landing site tunajenga ingine mahali inaitwa Wichlum tunajenga ingine hapa Kisumu mahali inaitwa Asat tunajenga ingine hapa Kisumu mahali inaitwa Ogal hapa kwenu tunajenga hii mahali nimesema kule eh, wakula katika mfangano na vile vile tutajenga ingine hapa mahali inaitwa Nyandiwa tutaweka pale fish landing site mahali kutakuwa na cold room mahali kutakuwa na ice facility mahali kutakuwa na common user facility ya processing ndio tuhakikishe ya kwamba wavuvi wetu wako na vifaa ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba samaki ambazo tunapata katika ziwa hii haiharibiki na tunapanga vile itafika sokoni ikiwa fresh na tuweze kuongeza mapato ya wavuvi na tuwe na chakula kama wa Kenya mimi nawauliza watu wa Homa Bay ya kwamba mtusaidie tushirikiane tuzalishe chakula katika taifa letu tuondoe aibu ya njaa. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Hakuna haja ya sisi kuwa watu walalamikaji kila wakati. Sisi wenyewe tunaweza kutatua tatizo la njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya kwa kusaidia wavuvi, kwa kusaidia wakulima na nimeuliza governor wenu mimi nitahakikisha kwamba kuna mbolea ya wakulima ya kutosha wa Homa Bay. Tutasaidiana na namna hiyo. 
vile vile tumekubaliana ya kwamba mambo ya kuagiza samaki kutoka nje hiyo mambo ya samaki kutoka China tutakomesha samaki itatoka kwa ziwa Victoria hapa na itatoka katika mito yetu kwa sababu tuko na uwezo tuko na vijana na tuko na mpango ya kuhakikisha kwamba chakula inapatikana ya kutosha tunaelewana jameni vile vile hapa Homa Bay nataka munisikize vizuri tumekubaliana ya kwamba saa hizi kila mwaka tunatumia pesa ya Kenya bilioni ishirini kuagiza mafuta ya kupikia lakini tumesema going forward tunataka Homa Bay Migori Kisumu Busia Siaya tutapangana na nyinyi ndio muzalishe mambo ya palm oil muzalishe sunflower muzalishe soya kwa sababu inatoshana na mchanga na hali ya hewa ya sehemu hii ndio tuwache kuakiza eh, mafuta ya kupikia izalishwe hapa nyumbani nyinyi muko tayari kwa hiyo biashara muko tayari watu ya homa bay mtafanya bidii na ndio sababu mnaniona nimesimama hapa kwa sababu tunataka tushirikiane mambo ya siasa tulimaliza mwaka uliopita saa hizi ni kupanga mambo ya maendeleo tunaelewana jameni and i want to congratulate victory farms you guys your what you are doing in this county is phenomenal and i want to congratulate you for what you are doing you have the support of the government of kenya as you do this great job nimeuliza hawa wangwana walituuliza ya kwamba tuwapatie leseni ingine mpya ndio leo hiyo leseni nimelete mwenyewe niwapatie ndio waongeze kuagiza katika sehemu hii sehemu hii kuegeza katika sehemu hii my commitment to victory farms and to all other investors all of them is that we are going to support investors in this area we are going to work with you to improve investment and to improve infrastructure that is going to support fishing in this area to make sure that we support the local community we support local farmers and we make sure that we benefit from your investment and partnership with the communities in Homa Bay and all the market infrastructure you have built across the country vile vile leo mimi naenda kuanzisha ile barabara ya kutoka sori kuja magunga kwenda sindo mpaka mbita <clears throat> ili tuwasaidie hawa wangwana na nyinyi watu wote wa Homa Bay muwe na barabara mnaweza kupeleka chakula yenu sokoni mnaweza kupeleka samaki sokoni mnaweza kufanya biashara mnaweza kuzalisha uchumi ndio tuondoe umaskini na tujenge taifa letu la Kenya tukianza na hapa Homa Bay muko tayari Watu wa Homa Bay muko tayari tushirikiane? Tunaelewana? Kwa hivyo mimi nataka niwaeleze mambo yote tumekubaliana kama watu wa Kenya. Juzi nilikuwa na governor wenu kule Nairobi tukianzisha mpango ya Nyamrerwa. Ninyi mnajua Nyamrerwa? Unajua hiyo maneno? Sasa tumesema community health promoters katika kila sehemu ya Kenya muko na watu elfu tatu hapa Homa Bay ambao watawasaidia ndio tuhakikisha kwamba magonjwa tunazuia kule vijijini kabla wananchi hawajapoteza mali yao kulipia gharama ya hospitali kwa bei ya juu so we are going to work together and we are going to make sure that we go in this route as the people of Kenya together hiyo barabara mimi nataka niwaulize sasa nyinyi watu wa Homa Bay na nataka munisikize vizuri sawa sawa mimi nakuja hapa kutengeneza barabara ya lami. Lakini niko na maswali kwenu. Kwa sababu mara nyingine mnaenda mnachoma barabara. Sasa mimi nataka kuuliza nyinyi. Hii barabara mnataka tuchome ama tujenge? Mimi nataka nipate insurance kutoka kwenu. Barabara nikijenga nyinyi mtachoma? Bwana lazima muniambie bwana. Mimi sina pesa ya kuweka kwa barabara ya kuchomwa. Tumekubaliana? 
barabara itachomeka tena Mnasema barabara haitachomwa tena Hebu nione wale wanasema barabara haita Sindio Aya tumekubaliana So na, na tuelewane tena mimi nataka sitaki munisumbue si ndio hapa vile vile pale mvangano nimeanza kuanzisha barabara na nikasema ndani ya miaka tatu hivi nitakuwa nimeweka lami pia hiyo barabara si ndio na nimezunguka duniani kote nimepata watu waegezaji nimepata watu ambao wanataka kuweka vifaa ya utalii hapa kwenu sawa lakini wameniuliza jambo moja ya kwamba tunasikia huko kwenu unajua nikiwa huko Ulaya wananiambia tunasikia huko kwenu ni mali ya vita na ni mali ya fujo na ni mali mali ya watu inaharibiwa mali ya kufanya maandamano sijui kila Jumatatu sijui lini mimi nauliza nyinyi hii mambo ya maandamano ya kuharibu mali ya watu na kuharibu mambo mengine itaendelea hapa Homa Bay itaendelea hapa Homa Bay eh kwa sababu mimi nataka wakati mimi natafuta waegezaji. Sisi tunaweka amani katika taifa letu la Kenya ndio waegezaji wakuje hapa so that we can grow our country. No investment is going to come to Kenya if we are violent people. If we are people engaged in destruction of property and destruction of business. We want to encourage people to come and invest in our country but we must also as the people of Kenya Make sure that we are a peaceful nation and we are a people that appreciates property, appreciates business so that we don't destroy people's property and business otherwise we are going to lose investment. Na mimi nataka sitaki tena nisikie watu wamekosa kuegeza mali yao Homa Bay kwa sababu iko fujo. Kwani mnapata faida gani kwa hii fujo? Iko faida inapatikana kwa mambo ya maandamano? Ah bana mimi maneno hiyo nimekataa. Ama ni aje watu wa Homa Bay. Hapana. Sasa sasa hata nyinyi mnataka kuniweka hasara. Ati sasa mimi nazunguka Kenya mzima, nazunguka duniani huko kwote na waambia Kenya is a good place, tuko na renewable energy, tuko na nini? Mnaweza kuleta mali yenu. Alafu hapa waigezaji wana, wana, wanakuja, wanakuta iko maandamano. Mali yao imeharibika. Biashara yao imeharibika. Lami imechomwa. Mali imeharibika. Sio ni mambo ya upuzi sana. So we must stop that nonsense and we must build a country where we have a peaceful nation. Watu wa Homa Bay tunaendelea pamoja ameni? Lakini mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba tutaungana na tutashirikiana. Tumekubaliana sisi wote ambao tuko na tuko viongozi, wale wa ODM, wale wa Azimio, wale wa eh, UDA wale wa Kenya kwanza sisi wote ni viongozi wa Kenya tutashirikiana ndio tuweze kupeleka mambo ya taifa letu mbele kwa maendeleo na miradi na mipango ya maendeleo Tumekubaliana Tumekubaliana Eh Bas Mimi sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo mimi nimefurahi sana na nitarudi hapa tena Mtanikaribisha Eh Na mimi nitakuwa hapa Mbaka mpaka mtanizoea mimi nitakuwa hapa Aza muanze kujipanga kunizoea kwa sababu hata mimi najipanga kuwazoea ama namna gani tumekubaliana